Cervical cancer screening is very effective for preventing cervical cancer. Guidelines for screening women for cervical cancer have some changes. Family nurse practitioner Kelsey Jansen explains the changes. We currently recommend starting pap smears at 21. In the past, pap smears were started before age 21, but that's not been supported for some time. We know now that the body does a good job of clearing most strains of HPV on its own before this age and the risk of invasive cervical cancer before age 21 is relatively low. The difference between a PAP and HPV and a PAP with HPV co-test is just what we're detecting with these things. They're all collected the same way. A PAP smear looks at abnormal cells in the cervix that can indicate cervical cancer or cell changes that are leading to cervical cancer. An HPV test or human papillomavirus detects HPV, DNA, or RNA from several high-risk types of HPV. A co-test looks at both of these things at the same time. The recommendations for the women that are 65 and older are actually that most people can discontinue pap smears after the age of 65. This is if you've had adequate screening in the last 10 years, which is defined as three normal paps within 10 years or two normal co-tests. The most recent one needs to be within the last five years. Over the last several years, we've learned a lot about how cervical cancer develops. Adding co-testing has given us better predictability and reassurance between tests. So most people actually only need screening every three to five years.